In this video we have the integral of sine of the natural log of x. And there's a couple of ways you could set this up and work out the problem. I'm going to set up the first one. They both involve integration by parts. So I could start off by letting u equal to ln of x. Then taking the derivative of both sides, we could say du equal to the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x dx. And then multiplying by x, we could say that dx is equal to x times du. And then we would do something like this. So this is the integral then, and then convert it to an integral involving the variable u. This then would be the sine. And then by our substitution then, ln of x is u. So this would be u here. And then the dx here would be du times x. I'll put the x out in front here. And of course we need just the variable u. The x is not allowed. But from this right here, this is base e right here. So this would tell me that x is equal to e to u properties of logs. And then it just would replace this x here then by e to the u. And you can take it the rest of the way here. You have to use the integration by parts. But this would be the setup of the integral involving u. I'm going to do it another way using the what is called the DI method or the abbreviated integration by parts uh, formula. So here we need to differentiate one function, integrate another one. Well, we only have one here, the composite function. So we'll let the, this would be the u when you use the integration by parts formula. So the u would be sine of ln of x. And the i, the only thing we can pick here would be 1. So this is, I'm using the abbreviated integration by parts formula. So now this would be the sine of ln of x would be, your, would, would be the u, and the 1 would be the dv. So I differentiate this. The root of sine is cosine of ln of x. And then chain rule, the root of ln of x then would be 1 over x. So I'll just put the x here. And then the one integrated had to be x, and that's what we have. So then this simply involves multiplying diagonally this way. So that's part of the answer when you do that. So this would equal to x, and then multiplied by sine of ln of x. Now to simp simplify this a little bit more, I'm going to multiply the second row. That is still going to be an integral by using this uh, setup here, this method. So it would be, and then you have the plus, minus, plus, minus, a sine alternate. So I've got the plus product there, and then multiplying a row, or it's still an integral, and you got the minus here. So this would be minus, and then x times x cancels, so this would be cosine of ln of x. Now we have to do this integral here. So that's your setup here. So this is actually going to involve applying integration by parts again here. So it's repeated. Let me just mark this out here. So this is going to equal to, well, let me do it over here. So this will be d for derivative and i for integral. So we're just repeating the same thing again, except instead of using the sine function, now we've got cosine here. So this will be cosine. So same sort of thing, except now we're going to differentiate the cosine function instead of the sine. Still going to integrate 1. You can always multiply anything by 1, doesn't change it. So taking the derivative, again, this is going to be a plus here, a minus here, and the sines alternate. So the derivative cosine is minus sine. I'll put another minus there, sine, and it's ln of x. 
and using the chain rule, derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. I just put the x here. And the integral of 1 is x, so we have this. So this is going to equal to x sine of ln of x. And this will be a minus here. Parentheses. And then again, the product of a row is still an integral. So I multiply this out here. And this is a plus here. And the x's here cancel. And I goes, so I'm replacing this right here. I should say this right here that has a minus in front of it there. So it's minus out here and then multiplying this way. Negative, negative is positive. X is cancel. So this becomes the integral of sine of natural log of x dx. And of course I need a dx right here also. Now notice here repeated. I have sine natural log of x dx. Same sort of, same sort of thing here. And I also forgot to put this in there. Cosine of natural log of x times x. Let me put it out here. This will be cosine here. Natural log of x. So it's the same as the first part to get this here. So it's this product this way. I got this x. Remember that this is actually inside the parentheses here. And then we have the integral. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring this minus, of course, that applies here also. So let me just put it this way. The minus is going to be distributed because this actually goes in here. So let me just rewrite this. So I got minus that integral and then because that negative also multiplies the product cosine ln of x, this is what we get here. So now what we do is bring this or add this to both sides. You have it here, there, and here. So when you add it to this side, it cancels that part right there. So to find the final answer to this, we added this integral to both sides here, canceled over here, added over here. So this becomes twice the integral of sine ln of x dx. And that's equal to this over here. So what do we have? We have the x sine ln of x. And then we have a minus x cosine ln of x. Now we simply, this is like you have a 2x on this side and you want to isolate the x. You just divide both sides by 2 or multiply by 1 half. So I'm going to multiply by 1 half both sides. So this is just give me a 1 there. And I can put a 1 half over here or I can just put this over 2. Put a minus 1 half in front of this. I'll just put this over 2. And then it's plus the constant of integration. So the answer to this integral is right there. And that's, your, that, that's your solution. Again, this problem actually involved integration by parts. Had to use it twice to get the answer. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.